got a quick one for working out a squeaky, squeaky deal. Uh, if you have stuff in the cabinet below, you'll want to protect it with a towel or with rags or something or a box. Put it down below or a bucket right under where this would, would uh, right under where this would drop through. But uh, basically we're just going to take a little silicone spray and we're going to spray right at our pop-up. And then we're going to push it a little bit on all sides to make sure it's worked in. That's it, the rest will let it dry and do its thing. Silicone spray is nice because it dries and it maintains its lubricant quality. I've got an empty sink, so I can just wipe off anything that might have dripped down. But again, you might want to put a bucket or a rag or just something to catch anything that might drip down there on your stuff. And now the squeak is worked out and we're good to go. Again. Silicone spray is ideal. Uh, other things stay wet and then they collect hair and dust where the silicone spray will dry and maintain that lubricant quality. So it's good stuff for, for uh, stuff like uh, vertical blinds, uh, garage doors, tracks, and uh, other various applications like this where you want something that would actually dry. So good deal. Done deal, no more squeak. Might not be perfect, perfect, but it's definitely going to be a lot better than what it was. All right. And again, it'll dry in and do its thing. Undo. And it works good for sliding door tracks. Same thing, because it can dry in there and maintain its lubricant quality without without collecting quite as much dust and dirt as WD-40. WD-40 is great for some stuff also dispelling moisture and such, but uh, silicone spray, definitely a better product for certain applications in my opinion. In my opinion. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him so if you haven't put your trust in him call out to him to save you it's a gift of salvation you can't earn it he did it all on the cross and he calls us to a loving relationship with him so you are invited to be reconciled to god something that was impossible god is holy and our sin is separated but without god it was impossible but god came to save us he sent his son jesus you know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So call out to him, get into the Bible, into the word and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth and the life is the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't don't get tripped up or tricked and don't don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. You know, call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for his people. And uh, if you missed it and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still like you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years. So if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food, um, and it's going to be a difficult situation. But uh, you, can, you can still have eternal life through Jesus, because again, he took all of our sin on himself at the cross so put your trust in him today so you don't miss out and uh so that you have the covering is he is the lamb the lamb of god that takes away the sin of the world all right stay safe out there god bless god bless you mm -hmm.